first off, congratulations on uh, being named All Area Player of the Year. Uh, let's let's go back to the beginning here. Your parents said that you uh, started playing basketball way back in second or third grade. Does that yes. sound about right? Yes. What about the game did you like the most? Um, well, at first I was with my friends, which I really liked, quality time with them. And then I just really fell in love with the sport. My sister played, so I was growing up with it. How much did uh, having an older sister that was so engrossed in the game kind of influence your own? Um, I think I kind of wanted to be like her when I was young, and then once I got older, I kind of wanted a sister rivalry, kind of beat her out, you know. That big age gap, you guys could never really play against each other, but what kind of rivalries would you have going on, like a little trash talk? Yeah, and like now it's like, oh, I beat your record for this, and oh, I'll do all this stuff. I understand she is uh, third all-time in scoring in school history. Somewhere around there, Somewhere yeah. around there. If you haven't <laughs> passed her just yet, how much does that motivate you going forward here? Oh, a lot. Because she always trash talks. Like, there's a game where I could have beat her for most free throws in the game. Right when I got out of the locker room, it's the first thing I heard. It's like, oh, he could have beat me, but he didn't. So. You guys ever play one on one anymore, anything like that? All the time. Really? Either one on one or pig or something. Who's winning usually? Oh, me. She doesn't have the shooter's touch anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you get old, unfortunately. Um, another thing I was talking about with your family is did a little research and I saw uh, in one article you said something that not a lot of people know about you is you have epilepsy. Uh, so just take me back to when that first happened, uh, eighth grade summer, something like that. Yeah, it was the uh, last day of eighth grade. It was eighth grade graduation when I was at a friend's house. And then the first thing I know is I woke up to the ambulance. I was like, oh, hey, what, like, what went on? Like, I didn't remember anything. And then, so I went to the doctor, found out that I did have like some absence, epilepsy, or type of form. And then, yeah, I'll take medicine for it. Is that a pretty scary process there for a while? Oh yes, like I didn't know like what was going on. Like people around me, I was like, okay, because like there's like ten people around me, I was, like get away, I don't know who you are. It was scary. How much? Uh you have to you know, kind of monitor and keep track of that during the basketball season. Something like that wouldn't happen in a game. Um, not really a lot. I have medicine I take every day for it, night and morning. So it's not really a big thing. To me, I got used to now. When's the last time uh, you had an episode? Last April, actually. So it's almost been a year. And where was that? Uh, I was in Chicago for Brooke Farrell's sister's Big Ten Championship. Yeah, it was scary. My family wasn't there. Do you ever think about that for a game, anything? Like, how much is this on your mind, just a normal day? Probably never crosses your mind, right? Um, it never really crosses it, but sometimes lately I've been having like dizziness, and that makes me like get like anxiety attacks, so I freak out about it, but now it's getting better. Mm -hmm. um, so your, your final three years of grade school, you, you won AAU state titles, is that right? Yes. You playing club ball or was that AAU? It was like a T, uh, I don't know how to explain it, a school team, okay. like six, seven, eight. Oh, grade I see what you're team. saying. Yeah. And uh, the Stingers, where were you based out of? Milton. Milton, okay. Yeah. And how many of those teammates have you carried over here into high school? All of them, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, freshman year, were you, uh, were you starting? Yes. You were. And uh, were you kind of surprised that the jump you quickly made, you know, go from uh, eight points a game to be starting leading yeah. scorer on a state tournament team? Yeah, it was crazy. What uh, What do you think allowed you to make that jump? Um, I give most credit to my summer program that I play with. Like, eighth grade I started playing with, like, high schoolers, eighth grade summer. So it kind of got me ready for the high school transition. So I was used to playing with older kids, I guess. And, uh, play with the Lakers, right? Yes. How long have you been doing that? Then? Um, well, I did a local team till started at like fifth grade summer, and then the eighth grade summer I started the national team. This will be my last year this summer. Do you feel like uh, maybe that's your more competitive side of the game is with the Lakers compared to high school ball? Oh yes, it's yeah. a much different game mm -hmm. playing with them. It's like more up-tempo, I guess more physical. Now, coming into this season, you guys you were one of three players that came back on the varsity team. I mean, what was the, you know, the mindset looking in? Did, did you expect to have this successful of a season? Um, to be honest, no, because like all the girls were kind of basketball was a second priority, 
and like none of them came first and trying to find our team chemistry with two people going down with knee injuries throughout the season. So the team chemistry was most what I was worried about. I remember you started the season just red hot. You were putting up 32 and 26 in your first two games mm -hmm. and you had that you know, crazy finish at the end of the year. Did you exceed all your expectations this year just individually? Yes, I think I did pretty good, yeah. Um, I scored, it's not really a personal game, but I think I did pretty good individually. What, what's it feel like to walk off the court after you just put up you know, 35 points and 24 rebounds? It feels amazing, actually. <laughs> Knowing that I could do all I could do and then finishing so strongly and not letting my teammates down and like going into the locker room saying, oh, I could have done more, but I didn't. I like went in and like, oh, I gave it my best and we came up short. Is it one of those situations where the next day you're watching the game tape and just saying, wow, did I really just yeah. pull this off? Yeah. yeah. And uh, going forward here, what this year's experience teach you about what you want to do your senior year? Um, I think it will make us I have bigger expectations for everyone, including myself, for next year, considering we'll come back full, strong team. Like, no one's graduated, except for the one girl with their ACL. But I think we should actually go further than what we did. I think we could have went further this year, but... What was the funner season for you, the state tournament run, or just, you know, putting out the crazy numbers that you did this year? I think it was the state tournament, I have to say, because it was, you're not really going to get an opportunity like that ever again. And I have the rest of my life slash college career to put up big numbers. What do you remember most about that season? Um, I think the team chemistry had, team chemistry we had, it was unbelievable. Like, the seniors were great. Like, they let in anyone and everything. How much did uh, Liz Ivy help you in your progression? Um, a lot. She was a big part of our state tournament team last year. Do you keep in touch with her at all anymore? Sometimes. Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> who, would, uh, who would you say has had the biggest impact on your basketball career? Maybe your sister? Yeah, you know? most definitely. Why? Because she's motivated me to do whatever, like succeed in school also, and play on the basketball court. Yeah. Now uh, her, her college basketball experience didn't go so well. How much now that you're, you know, looking forward to scholarship offers? Have you, you know, talked with her and chatted about what you should be looking for? Yeah, she told me to go for a school that would make a big impact on freshmen, would like sit on the bench or anything, or good academics. Yeah. Has that been the hope for you since, uh, you know, you were a youngster? You always wanted to play Division One ball. Oh yes, of course. And who have you been hearing from here recently? Um, I've gotten a few from UNLV, uh, Minnesota, I went on a visit there, um, Florida Gulf Coast, Bowling Green, kind of all over mm -hmm. the U.S. And you went on a visit to Minnesota, when was that? Uh, December, early December. And how many other visits have you taken? That would be my only one. That's the only one. Mm -hmm. so when you you know, plan on making a decision here? I don't know. I was going to play this summer and then make a decision early summer, early school year next year. And you had uh, Bobby Kelsey watching you near the end of the year. Is that, you know, is that an option that you would really like to have on the table playing at Wisconsin? Yeah, I'd be close to my family and friends, so I wouldn't have to go far away and not see any of them for a long time. So I think it'd be fun. Hey, your parents were saying they're just really hoping that you stay somewhere close by, but you've been <laughs> looking all over the place. I mean, what are the biggest factors in this decision for you? Um, well, obviously, distance is not a factor at all, um, but they have to be good academics and a good team of overall and good coaches. And you talk about academics a lot. Uh, what do you plan on pursuing? Uh, physical therapy. To do what? Sports medicine. Sports medicine. Mm -hmm that uh, somebody in the family do that, or is that just something you wanted to do? Something I wanted to do since I was a little kid. All in all, coming into this year, did you expect to be you know, first team All-State? Is it kind of a shock to you? It actually is a kind of a shock. I had never expected it. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> I bet. Well, uh, let's see here. I don't think I have any more questions for you. I just, just going back to those final two games, you know, I've, have you ever been in a zone like that before? I mean, what's that like being out there? Um, well, it's kind of surreal, like, knowing that you can put up so many points in one game, and, um, someone had to step up, so I decided I'd put the team on my back and just go, to don't care about anyone else, and somehow kind of worked for the first game, and the second game didn't really work.